Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello, everybody. Um, I wanted to get on here really quick and um, uh, release a word that um, I have been kind of going over um, in my spirit for a few months, but I just really haven't felt um, the urge or the unction to release it, but I do want to share it today. Um, over the past several months, I've been having um, very spectacular and very vivid dreams about um, systems that are present in the spirit realm. And um, I'm not going to talk about that in today's live, but I do want to share with you one of those types of dreams that I had and like the introductory dream to those series of dreams and a, um, a vision that I had in prayer recently. So, um, and I believe that this is just going to help you understand um, where to focus your efforts, your prayers, your attention, um, your connections in 2020. So, um, as I said, I was starting to have all of these dreams and um, the dream that introduced me to this series of dreams that I'm still even now having, I was dreaming that I could see the entire world. I could see the entire world from up above. And on the earth, I could see that some people were glowing. They were lit up like light bulbs. And it was a, it was like a mystery, you know, of how that glowing got there. And um, as I started to, it was like I could see in very closely, um, instantly, and I could also zoom out instantly. And as I was zooming in, I could see everything that had gone into making that person um, the way that they were lit up. And this was like, do you remember those old kind of car toys that were, you could run them back and forth and then they would get charged up and then you would let them go and they would like go forward on their own? It was like, this was what was happening to people. It was like, these people were dedicated to their secret place. They were in prayer, they were fasters, they were committed to their church. Um, they knew about the secret place. It was very cultivated in their lives. And these people were lit up, but it was like they were storing all of this energy that was only visible in the spirit. People around them didn't see that they were charged up like this, that they were glowing, that they were anything ordinary, you know, extraordinary. They just appeared to be normal, everyday people to the people that were around them. And I saw that as they were glowing, they were also attracting angelic help. They were attracting angels to them. They were, it, in fact, their glowing would release angels. It was their charged up prayer life. It was their um, ignited spirit that was releasing the the movement in heaven to to release things that had previously not been released. And um, and this is this is what I saw was happening in the spirit world. And this was the introductory dream basically that I got into all of these series of dreams that I've been having for many months now. When I woke up from this dream, and I saw that it was like lightning. I saw that when these people would start to pray, it would be like lightning striking these things that they were praying for. You know, it would just be immediate results. And um, as I woke up, I heard strike while the iron is hot. And um, I'm, I'm going to post after I'm done with this, I'm going to post some scriptures that I um, have gotten that maybe you can meditate on and see how this um, fits with you. So I want to, before I tie this like all together, I want to tell you about um, a vision that I had probably a month or two months or maybe even three months now um, ago when I was in prayer. I was praying and all of a sudden I saw a vision of these very large diamonds that were like being held on the edge of something, like they were about to tip off of the edge. And... Um, as I stood there looking at these diamonds, it was like they were alive. These diamonds had like their own will. They had a purpose. They, they knew that they were made for something and they wanted to go and do it, but they were being held back by this very thin edge. And as I uh, saw outward, you know, I saw a bigger picture of what was happening. These diamonds were inside of a raindrop 
they were all being held inside of this raindrop and um, it was about to burst. And as I was in prayer, um, the Lord just spoke to me and he said, those diamonds are your prayers. They have been forming. They have been um, turning into something that is a beautiful gem, you know, and it's not just a blessing for you, but it's being held in this raindrop that's about to pour down. And, um, you know, I was like, it was just a very powerful vision for me. I mean, I remember journaling about it for, for days, even after I had that vision. And, um, uh, as I was praying into, I always pray for a word for the year. And as I was praying into it, um, uh, I got the word mantled and, um, I started to really push into it during my prayer times in the morning. And, um, you know, I encourage you to go do a word study on that. I, I can't go through all, that would just be so long of a live for me to do that right now. But, um, if you have time, really go and look into it, you know, and, uh, find out what that word means in Hebrew and all of the different ways that it's used. But basically what I saw was that, um, the, in, in Matthew 13, you can read about how there's a, a man who finds a treasure in the field and he sells everything that he has so that he can buy that field. And the Lord spoke to me about how there have been people who have been so sold out for him. They have done everything that he has asked and they've come back to buy that, that field. You know, they've left everything to buy that field to find him. And now that treasure that they've found in the field is going to clothe them. It's going to be their mantle. It's coming down on them in rain. This rain that's filled up with all of their prayers. It's this rain that's falling down on them with um, more blessings than you could even think of. You know, as your Jesus talked a lot about the new wine and there's many different um, revelations. There's different levels of revelation about that. One of them is that the longer you let you in the natural, you have wine, you let it sit for a long time and that's how it becomes finer over time. And like, like that wine, your prayers have been stored up in this perfect environment. It's been kept in the womb of heaven. It's been percolating in there, you know, so that not just only your prayers are being answered, but the recompense, the, the restoring of time, every dimension that was associated with all of those words, with every prayer, with every, um, you know, your, your heart desires, um, every intention that God has had over your life, it's coming down to mantle you, to clothe you in that field that you bought. There's, um, the earth always mirrors heaven. The earth is a dimly lit mirror of the system of heaven, the systems that are in even just the second heaven. And when you find that treasure in the field, it cannot um, help but come back on you. When you find that treasure in the field, you're standing in a place of treasure and it's not just below you, it's also coming from above you. God is about to pour this out and to allow it to mantle you. And um, I just encourage everybody to really push into, so in my vision where I was telling you, I saw that these diamonds that were in that raindrop there was nine of them. And these nine ones were specific areas of my life that I have been continuously praying into, continuously prophesying over. And uh, these nine areas, you know, I knew for me personally are about to come into the fullness and being uh, poured out on, on me. The fullness of those prayers are about to be answered. And um, so I encourage you because I know that this was for I saw that this this rain is it's it's there's not a place that it can't fall, and so I really encourage everybody to um, pray into what are the areas that are coming to the fullness for you in 2020, and be prepared to receive the mantle for those areas. You know what does it really look like to steward that when it comes down when the rain? You know if. If you live off grid, you're preparing for the rain. You have a system in place to catch the rain, to store it, to purify it. It has to be like that with our blessings that we've been praying for because it's about to pour over. So how are you about to steward it? How are you about to make that thing work for you, for your purpose, for the destiny that God created you for? There has to be a system and 
you know, predetermined decisions made ahead of time so that when this comes, none of it is wasted. It's not, um, you know, you've done the labor, you've sold everything you had, you've gone and bought the field, you've you found the treasure there, you're waiting for the full fullness of that mantle to come upon you. Don't get to like the edge of where your blessing is supposed to just start and have it come to nothing because you weren't prepared to take on the fullness of that responsibility of the things that you've been praying for. Um, the other thing that I want to say about this is that the first part of the dream where those um, spirits were so lit up, the people who had known about the secret place, who know how to cultivate that time, who understand, um, who understand what is involved in fellowship with God. Um, their spirits are very lit up. And so two things really hit me from that. First of all, you don't know what somebody else has sacrificed. You don't know what they look in this like in the spirit. And so be very careful about who you're uh, ignoring or who you are not taking from. You see, you can only receive what you're willing to see. Jesus said that a, a prophet has no honor in his own hometown and that's because people only saw him as the son of Joseph and Mary they didn't see him and what he carried behind that and there are people among us even now that they haven't been revealed to their full fullest yet because it hasn't been the time it hasn't been their season to come into that but we are coming into a time now where these people are being revealed so first of all you know be be aware of that and be willing to receive from those that maybe you have overlooked or you've become so familiar with them that you um you just have have dismissed their words in the past or whatever so be aware of that and second of all understand where you are in the spirit we need to be able to have eyes to see that way so press in and ask God what do you look like in the spirit ask him where you sit in that level of authority what do you have the ability to command that you haven't already what do you have the ability to release that has been previously just kept up in the storehouses that is now time to release you know you need to know where you are what do you look like where do you fit into this whole thing because those people who were lit up they had the they their prayer life was what gave them the authority to release the angels to release different movements from heaven the blessings of god that were uh predetermined to be released at certain times and places they were able to partner with that because they had the full um the full partnership they were in full fellowship because of their dedicated prayer life with god you know it was their number one priority and so i would say um, just to recap i'm going to post some uh, scriptures as I said in the comments so that you can go and just kind of meditate on those and see what comes to your spirit but first of all uh, be willing to receive even from people who you previously overlooked or people who are very familiar to you because they might hold blessings that they've labored very hard for even when you weren't looking second of all know where your authority is know where you are um, seated where you are placed as we enter into 2020 because it's very important that everybody who who has authority is is taking over that authority you know has dominion over what is theirs to have dominion of because we are all connected and we need everybody to be um, um, operating in their the fullness of the measure that they've been placed in and especially at this time and third find out what your diamonds are you know what are those prayer areas that are about to um, come into uh, uh, the natural realm. They're about to make their, themselves manifest in the natural and make sure that, you know, ask God, how do you, what do you need to have in place in order to steward it to the fullness? Like, what is the best way that I could partner with this? How could I better tune my life? What spaces even inside my own heart or in my own mind do I need to, uh, uh, cultivate so that I can take care of this, you know, to the best of my absolute ability. So those three things, um, I just really, um, I felt like I could not keep um, the word any longer. Um, like I said, I was thinking about releasing it a couple of months ago, and I just did not feel uh, led to do so. But um, there's no doubt that this is um, for people who maybe just need some idea of what direction. They know that like stuff, stuff is happening for 2020, but maybe you don't know the right direction. So I hope that this word can kind of help point you 
in the area that you need to focus your attention, your energy, your prayers, your expectation to put your hope in, um, you know, all of that kind of stuff as we enter into not just a new year, but a new decade. So um, I pray that this word has blessed you. And again, check the comments for the um, scriptures in about 10 minutes. I'll put them in there. Okay. So blessings, happy New Year's, uh, happy New Year's Eve um, to everybody. And I can't wait to see you guys next year, next decade. <laughs> blessings.